Uh, I'm just a, I'm a resident of Hamilton County, and um, I'm one of the I'm within the with the Pucci area. I'm, as crow flies, probably maybe a half a mile, and I have E. coli in my well, and um, and I I've invested in my own water treatment system to be able to, to eradicate that, and I have good water. Uh, the one question I got for you is, um, I've attended all the workshops that yeah, the, yeah. yes, sir, that Swanee River Water Management has done. I've also gone up to Tallahassee and spoke briefly uh, because our senator held a workshop on the same issue. And um, and what I what I've heard, I think the 10 million gallon retention pond is a major step forward. You know what I'm saying? You know when you look at because when we when Swanee River Water Management looked at the, the water that you received in I think December, what you call a hydro event, um, that has happened one of the time in the last 10 years. Uh, but it, it is a reoccurring. That, that's what they do. It's a 10 year cycle for them. It's, if it occurs within 10 years, it's it's classified an issue. Okay, so it was nice to hear that with the hurricanes that we had, that you had some winds, you know, that you did not have any spills. But um, the question I've got is that it's inevitable that there probably will be a spill, okay, of some sort. And, you know, and I, we had <coughs> E. coli up and down our street. I'm just telling you, down 143, I can give you three families that have had E. coli, okay, uh, and hospitalized to that. And um, I, when I installed my system in 2016, uh, the system I put in and paid $4,000 for it, it had a 16 million gallon spill. Uh, <coughs> seven days later, after my system was put in, it destroyed the membrane of my system uh, from the Valdosta spill in 2016. Now, I think that's precursor to the new plant coming online, if, if that's a true statement. Okay, so I understand that's, that's old, but I, that's, the, that's how toxic these spills can be. I mean, when it destroys a membrane, uh, that is an issue. Um, but I will tell you that I do that with, with working with work group. We are testing five sites, meaning the state of Florida uh, is testing five sites all the way down to the Swanee with, with their kinetics. And they are testing monthly, but any time that you identify a spill, they immediately start testing. And we, one of the comments that you made at the presentation, you made that same comment again today, is that your testing shows no human people. Okay, if that's true, you're not a problem. But Florida's testing, if you were to check with Florida DEP, says that it does have human people. And they can give you charts. We had them all presented to us. They have breached at a 400 level of E. coli. It has been breached numerous times. Okay? And that's always associated to a hydro event. Okay? So there's two, we got disparity going on between the state of Georgia and the state of Florida. Okay? This, this, you know, I'm the kind of guy, I like making suggestions. I'm, you know, an army guy and used to fixing things, you know. And so one thing, I, I think you got a little pregnant. And let me explain that comment. You dug a temporary retention pond, okay? And you did it at minimum expense with your own equipment. You had two miles of public land going to the with Lacucci. Okay, what I'm asking you is, can you guys consider a fail safe? I know, I know, I know the director's report card is based on one of your metrics is fields. Okay, management, managing personnel, managing budget, I get all of that. But one of those, you know, the one that they really come and talk to you about is a spill. Okay, because you're reporting to states, and that doesn't look good on you. So you know you want your retention to stay in plant. So when you build your 10 million gallon plant, when you built your temporary, okay, that that's in plant. Okay, so that, that reporting process is much less. But if you go outside a plant, now we have an official spill. So all I'm, I mean, personally, that's a personal problem, okay? If you can put in retention ponds, which are dug simply, I mean, maybe Florida can come down and dig those for you, okay, but if you guys can dig some ponds that will allow you to capture an extra eight or 10 million gallons, okay, and I realize the transfer of that back is an expense to the city. I mean, number one, you're going to report it as a spill, which you're going to report anyways. And number two, you're now keeping it potentially out of with Lacucci. Because what I'm understanding is that probably 70% of spills that make it to the river, okay, um, is from with Lacucci area. In other words, it's coming in from the with Lacucci. So if we can dig some temporary retention ponds, I really believe we're going to have a win. I think your 10 million gallon is going to solve the problem. It's going to be, I mean, it's probably a 90% answer. 
You know, but the reality of it is, within a 10 year window, you're going to, you're going to experience this again. Because when you look at $1,000 a foot to do a mining, which is what you said at the last working group, and you're going to do 1,500 feet of 40 miles at 168 years, that are going to wear out every 40 years, we're doomed. I see no, no solution to the problem. The only solution I see is a simple solution, which is dig retention ponds to protect Florida, protect our waterway from the width of the Coochie, um, so that you, I realize it's an expense to you, a very low expense for implementation, a higher expense for transfer, but it, it protects our waterway. And I'm here to ask you to consider that. I've, I've mentioned that at the DEP. I've asked them to send a formal letter to Georgia requesting that, that be done. Okay? Uh, no, I'm not getting a great response either from, uh, from either from Spawny River Water Management District either. Okay? Because, you know, they see you trying to improve. Government sees government trying to improve. I'm no government. I, I, you guys have knocked it out of the park. Okay? You really have made a lot of improvements, and my hat is off to you. But you've got an insurmountable problem with 40 miles of lines. You're not going to fix it. Okay, you are going to have issues. So from my perspective, give me a simple solution that will allow us to fix the, at least that spillway so that we can do that. I know it's not great. I know you don't want to do it, because I mentioned to you last time. You said, no, I want to keep it in plan. It's a personal problem from my perspective. Okay, I'm looking at it from a Florida resident that has been contaminated, has had a water system destroyed, and that we got results from Florida DEP that says there is human people that has been reported and has been documented that has come from Georgia. And okay, we know that. Okay, you can back up everything that I've said. Okay, because I've been tracking this, you know, well. Okay, but you know, I think it's necessary, that's what I'm suggesting to this city, if you would at least consider that. And if you would, you know, I think an extra eight million gallons, you're done. You know, something that could catch that flow on public land, reasonably close to the plan for you to minimize the transfer costs associated with getting it back where it could be treated.